Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the Passam distribution type of questions. But in this video, I will only focus at the Passam PD, which is the Passam probability distribution. So in the next video only, I will discuss about the Passam CD, which is cumulative distribution. All right, so for this video, before I start, you need to know what's the difference between Passam distribution and binomial distribution. Normally for binomial distribution, we will involve about the probability of success and probability of failure, which is the P and Q value. But for Passam distribution, we normally we don't have P or Q, we will have about value called lambda. Lambda basically is the mean, or sometimes we call it average. All right. And then for Passam distribution, it's always involved the time because we actually need to use the time to measure its mean. So it's always will involve the time. Lastly, for Passam distribution, we always want to measure the event occur independently. Okay, basically what it means is like, like the event occur at this hour and it will not affect the event occur in the next hour and so on. So the event occur must be independently and this one normally is restricted by the time itself all right so in this video i actually want to use one example to make you understand how to solve this kind of question and how to use the calculator to solve this kind of question so at first i show you the formula for passam distribution this is the formula okay so, so formula over here is probability for x equals to r r will be the event you want and then lambda will be the uh, average or mean all right, and then you have a factorial or something like this. All right, so let's have a look at the question. All right, I make up this question myself. So you are working for the company A. Each day you will receive average about 12 email. And then they ask you to find the probability of getting 10 email per day. Okay, so over here, you want to know uh, what is your lambda value first. So over here, you should be able to see the word average about 12 value. So normally I will write in the parameter of person. So normally parameter we write like this, PO lambda. So in this case will be PO 12, because 12 will be our average value. So over here, they ask us to find the probability of getting 10 email per day. So 10 is basically our R value, or you can call it as an X value, but normally I call it as R value. So what you want to do is you want to insert the 10 into the R, but before you enter, right, you want to make sure they have the same time because this average about 12 email we say about each day. So here they say about per day. So they have the same time value, isn't it? So as long as they have the same point in time, then we can straight away substitute in. So which is probability x is equal to 10. All right, and then e power negative, our lambda will be 12. And then lambda will be 12, r is 10 over 10 factorial. So what you want to do is uh, you just use the calculator for it. So I will just go into the e power of negative 12 and then multiply 12 power of 10 over 10 factorial. Oops, factorial will be this one. All right, then the calculator will tell me is about 0 0.1048. Normally three to four significant figures should be enough. And I will convert it about uh, into the percent by multiply 100%, which is 10.48%. So basically, if your average is receiving about 12 email uh, per day, so there's a 10% you will receive about 10, me, uh, 10 email each day. All right, so if I want to use a calculator to solve this kind of question, actually it's very easy. You go into the menu, and then you go into distribution, which is seven, and then you come down to the second menu, and then you look for person PD which is number two. Okay, over here you can choose about list or variable, but I will use variable now, which is two. So my x value will be 10, because x equals to 10. My lambda value, my average will be 12 email. Okay, over here I want to tell you is, the lambda value can be in decimal. So the lambda, which is average, right? Average can have something like 6.5, 12.5, 12.1, can, can be in any decimal, but then the x value must be integer. Okay, must be positive integer. So like for x value, if you type into the any decimal, you will get about math error. Okay, so then I type enter. Then the calculator should be able to tell me my answer, which is 10.48. Okay, which is correct, my answer. But over here, I want to teach you about the least value as well. So 
I go back to the person PD, which is number two. If I choose a list, the good thing about list is you can insert the different x value because right now I use x equals to 10 because I might have the different answer and sometimes I might need to like plus from x equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. Then I can use this one to double check my answer. So I can just insert my x become like 2, become like 3, become like 4. Let's say I want to plus my x from 2, 3, and 4. Then I can just enter one more time. Then the calculator will ask about your average value or your mean value. So lambda is 12, then you type enter. Then the calculator will straight away tell you all the value here. Then you can just write it down and then you can just plus each of them. So I will find the least function normally is very useful if you need more than one probability value. But let's have a look at the second question, which is a little bit tricky here. So for second question, they ask you to find the probability of getting two email every hour. Okay, so right now, the, the tricky part is about the 12 email is saying about each day but right now they say about every hour so what i want to do right now is we know that uh, we have about 24 hour each day right for one day so what we want to do is we will use about the lambda is 12 for each day right we want to convert them into the same time so therefore i will divide it by 24 because this one 12 is for day if i want to convert them to the each hour then i will divide 24. So right now my lambda is 1 over 2. Alright, so right now the question asks about x equals to 2, isn't it? Because they, they want to know about every uh, getting about 2 email. So probability x equals to 2. Then I will just sum into it. So e is power negative. Right now my lambda is 1 over 2. So this is 1 over 2. And then power of 2 over 2 factorial. All right, then I can use the calculator. Okay, let's do it manually first. I put fraction and then I go into exponent and then power of negative one over two and then multiply one over two. Um, yeah, I want to make sure you type <laughs> carefully. All right, so it's one over two square. Okay, divided by two factorial. All right, then the calculator will tell you is about 0.075a. So it's about 7.58% of getting about two email uh, for every hour. So if you want to use a calculator to check for it, you just go into the distribution and then you come down, you go for the person PD, which is number two. And then over here, we just use the variable. So insert our X value, our X is two, and insert our lambda is one over two or 0 0.5. Then you tap enter, then the calculator will tell you it's exactly the same value, 0.075a. Anyways, I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a shopping link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just type Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now. And then over here, there's two places for you to insert your voucher code. First place is over here, you can see the more voucher. The second place will be over here, the platform voucher. Okay, the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by Shopee. And then this voucher is provided by Casio Malaysia. And then over here, you can insert the voucher code I provide, which is the Casio map. And then you just click on apply. I already apply, so you can see like five ringgit off, minimum spam of 70 ringgit. So after that, you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. If you have any question, Feel free to post at the comment section below or else I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.